You're watching Hexa TV. Um, we're at CS 2011 with Blackberry, and this is Ryan Biden, Senior Project Manager for um, for the Playbook. And here we have it, Blackberry's new tablet. So Ryan, do you want to give us a, a quick quick walk through what's going on here? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the Blackberry Playbook. It is a seven-inch tablet device. One of the first things I want to call out is about how thin it is. So it's uh, under a centimeter thick, so it's slightly less than 10 millimeters. Um, light, less than a pound, so just about 400 grams in terms of weight. Um, a lot of cool features. We've got uh, dual video cameras, so three and five megapixels, both able to capture 1080p video. Um, and we've also got a micro HDMI output, so you can now output that 1080p content to your TV. Um, one of the things you notice on the face is we don't have a lot of buttons, so you don't have the traditional home or menu keys that you might expect. So we've done some pretty cool stuff with the UI to enable a different level of interaction. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, launch a couple of applications. So launch the ubiquitous calendar applicator, calculator app, uh, launch a browser, go and launch our Kobo Books application. So now, what you may have noticed is I was actually doing a different set of gestures. So what we've done on the technical side is extend the borders of the touchscreen beyond the viewable area of the LCD. So when I swipe up from the bottom, I'm actually doing a system gesture that allows us to minimize the application. Uh, by the same token, if I swipe in from the side, I can toggle between the open apps. Uh, it is a true multitasking device, so all these apps continue to run in the background when they're minimized. Um, so behind the scenes powering all this, we have a dual core, one gigahertz Cortex A9 processor with a gig of RAM um, that really allows you to do a lot. What I would love to be able to show you is the integration of Flash and the web and HTML5, but because of the Wi-Fi in here tonight, unfortunately I can't. Um, but yeah, that's the device. Cool, you got a lot of power there. So um, what are we talking in terms of battery life? Yeah. You talking about that yet? Yeah, absolutely. So battery life, I mean, Blackberries are known for robust battery life. Our target is eight hours of usable battery with this device. So be able to use it over the course of the day with no problem. Uh, the other really cool thing is connectivity. So obviously it's a Wi-Fi device, 802.11, both five gigahertz and 2.4. But the other really cool thing is the Bluetooth connection to your Blackberry. So fully function Wi-Fi device. If you don't have a BlackBerry, if you do, you can tether it to your BlackBerry. Use that BlackBerry for 3G connectivity when you don't have Wi-Fi available, but also get large screen access to all of your BlackBerry content. So you'll be able to see your email, calendar, contacts, tasks, notes, and BlackBerry Messenger here on the large screen. Okay, so that sounds great. When are we going to see it on store shelves, both in the US and in the UK? So we'll see it in North America before the end of Q1, rest of the world shortly thereafter. A bit vague, no, can't give us anything vague. more. Unfortunately, that is as specific as I can be right now. Okay, that'll have to do. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> You're watching Hexus TV. Tune in for more soon.